ANC General Secretary Mr. Fikile Mbalula uthe akathaketile iKZN but udila nalama province angaphefumanga kuma elections that include Gauteng province we gonna remember that Gauteng is under Banyaza Lusuf and then sengathi vele bekulokhe kukhona lokho akuwisha between Upanyaza and Fikile Mbalula so Fikile Mbalula did stress this he's not targeting KZN but he's dealing with these provinces which did not perform kuma elections ka angumhla 29 May this year he further stated that he advised KZN PEC not to make any comment not to answer any questions from the journalist or anyone regarding the meeting that they had ukugcizeleli lokuthi uyacela ukuthi bangakhulu umlutho mayelana nale meeting ebalekile ababenayo ube eseqhubeka ethi he is not going to comment uh, regarding the remarks that were made by KZN secretary Mr Pekim Tolo we remember that Mr Pekim Tolo highlighted that it's not only KZN that did bad during the, the last elections but the entire ANC performed dismally because it went below 50%. However Mr Mbalula over like Thailand Mr Mbalula was very dismissive of Mr Mtolo's remarks and he further said that he won't comment because lama remarks come Mr Mtolo what is true but it's interesting because Mr Mbalula did emphasize that he's gonna deal with both provinces Gauteng and KZN now we are just looking forward what will be the outcome of these meetings and how Mr Panyaza Lusuf and Mr Mtolo will respond to Mr Mbalula or to ANC and EC because it's obvious that the entire ANC didn't do well. We remember that Mr. Ramaphosa himself was on the ballot paper, but most voters did not select him. So, ama voters are manning. Our Mketango Ramaphosa, we are going to ballot paper, but I'm zip. So, na are going to be able to that's a responsibility for dismal performance of an ANC. However, that is for an ANC to, to decide. We know that there are silly things that have been raised, like uh, it's not only the two provinces that have lost, uh, we have dropped in all the other provinces. That's a silly debate because uh, we did not just drop, we lost in the two provinces. We make nothing of those remarks. They mean nothing because we are 17 percent, and we have we have told them here today, and we have said to them that uh, everybody must keep quiet, and we will communicate decisions of the organisation. Whatever that anyone says does not add uh, to the solutions and what needs to be done. Will you take other hands, UFM? Yeah, I'm from UFM. Uh, Mr. Mbalula, you know, you, the ANC lost 62% nationally. So, at which platform is the national leadership being held responsible for its role? Uh, we appreciate what is happening with the two provinces, but how is national leadership accounting for this loss? And has the element of MK emerged in there uh, as part of the reasons? Because you yourself have attributed this devastating defeat to, to the... The ANC have made an analysis about the moment and uh, what happened in the elections and after we did so we briefed the media so we can't repeat ourselves and then uh, we said we take responsibility and that responsibility also means uh, we've got the responsibility to find solutions in relation to how we recoup the lost ground and uh, how we work with our provinces. It includes a whole range of decisions. Uh, you have asked the question right at the beginning. Do you think that the NEC must actually disband? It can't disband. It must lead to the next conference. And let me explain to you. 
If anyone wanted to disband the NEC, there are constitutional procedures. If they want to do so, sign a petition or do whatever that you can, uh, and then uh, the NEC will deal with that. We are going to a general council. Others want to define it as a battleground for the soul of the NEC. We are not concerned about that. We want the ANC to be healthy, fit, and proper to fight an election uh, of local government election. So that includes reorganizing ourselves in these provinces. And uh, the situation in these provinces is dire from an organizational point of view. And uh, we have said that we need to build. We know that there are silly things that have been raised, like uh, it's not only the two provinces that have lost, uh, we have dropped in all the other provinces. That's a silly debate because uh, we did not just drop, we lost in the two provinces. A responsible leadership does not fold. We did not go in this election not knowing that we've got challenges in KZN. And in Gauteng, we did. We had a battle plan. We followed that particular battle plan. It had uh, limitations, uh, both from a subjective and objective point of view. We have analyzed that. And uh, we have made uh, some conclusion in terms of shaping our perspective. Now, in terms of that perspective, nobody disputes our analysis as leadership. So that analysis must be accompanied by what needs to be done. And what needs to be done is a whole range of other issues. You disband a structure, for instance, in order to strengthen it with capable people. Uh, if ever you come to a conclusion that there are weaknesses in terms of leadership and all of that. But at the same time, you need to reorganize. MK party, from a subjective uh, point, uh, an objective point of view, uh, in terms of Jacob Zuma and all of that, we have related to that matter. We have related to that matter that uh, uh, it did make a, a, a dent, uh, but that is not the only factor in terms of uh, our analysis. And uh, we are not about MK, we are about building the ANC and ensuring that the ANC has got the purest cadres who love it, who can go on the ground, defend it, and reclaim the loss. Good afternoon, Mr. Malua, Alpha here from You mentioned something quite interesting that you shouldn't play the blame game with the provinces. Have you seen remarks from the Inpol saying that the president and yourself as the SD should also account for the electoral decline in Pozzuliata? What do you make of these remarks? We make nothing of those remarks. They mean nothing because we are 17%. And we have, we have told them here today. And we have said to them that uh, everybody must keep quiet and we will communicate decisions of the organization. Whatever that anyone says does not add uh, to the solutions and what needs to be done. We are going to fix and build Wazulu Natal and Khaute, and that's what we are going to do. And we are going to do it with the ferocity of a cornered bull. Uh, and uh, ensuring that uh, we come out of this uh, situation. Uh, you take a decision and you support it on the ground. Unfortunately, we have, fortunately, we have reached that stage of our work in terms of the two provinces, and uh, we've got uh, to move forward and rebuild the ANC effectively.